All right, we back. The sun is definitely hitting today. I'm trying to see if I can cover up this glare or something. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> y'all see the title of the video, man. Don't forget about your inner child. And I feel like the inner child is something that you have to stay in tune with, stay connected with, because it's very easy to uh, get away from your inner child and, and get so caught up in being an adult. And what I mean by being an adult is, you know, just being more concerned about, uh, I guess, things of the world and not caring for your soul, not caring for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that makes sense. And I feel like we need to do those things that made us happy as a child, you know? So for me, like one of the main things that kind of, that I've realized lately that keeps me uh, connected with my inner child is um, playing video games and drawing because that was, that, that made up a good chunk of my childhood. Like as far as like hobbies go, I spent so much time playing video games and I spent so much time drawing. And when I do those two things, it's like I kind of get into this like flow state and like, especially if I'm enjoying it, like I, it's like I kind of lose track of time, you know what I'm saying? And everything else just kind of doesn't even really matter. And like, as of lately, I've kind of realized like, yo, these two things like really like make me feel like a kid again, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I like that feeling. You know, because like I said earlier, it's easy to get so caught up in your responsibilities and where you need to go and what bills you need to pay for and uh, uh, how your schedule is looking this week. Like it's very easy to get caught up in those things and then not relieving yourself or or removing yourself from those things. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I kind of just got back into video games like within the last year or two year and a half ish like I kind of got away from them for a little while but then I kind of got back into them and I'm like man like I love this shit the same with my art like same with drawing and stuff like that like I've gotten I got away from it for a long time and, it, and I kind of dip in and out of it you know what I'm saying I just have to really feel like doing it but when I'm doing those two things man I, I I really feel like a kid again and it's a really really good feeling because it's it's hard to get that feeling you know what I'm saying like your your childhood is honestly like one of the shortest parts of your life because it goes by so fast. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so many things happening, so many things changing and you in school for so long, wasting time, <laughs> doing homework and stuff like that. And it's like, it just flies by and it's like, you, you don't ever really get a chance to like, just really sit back and appreciate, you know, how good that time was, no matter how your childhood was. Like your childhood is your childhood, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, when we learn to reconnect with those things that we really did when we were seven years old, eight years old, 10, 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? When we go back to those things, whatever they might have been, whether it be like a video game or a TV show or a movie or like even like a type of food, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it kind of brings you back to those days and it's like that nostalgia just kicks in and it's just like, damn, bro, like things are a lot different now, but I still remember how this shit feels, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just good to have those things. So I guess the main takeaway from this video is like, maybe go back and figure out like, or think about like, man, what were those things that I used to do when I was a kid? And once I got older or once I started working or maybe started having kids and stuff like that, like maybe you just kind of got away from it. It's just like, man, think about those things. And if you can do those things, like try to do them, you know, every couple weeks or so or once a week or something or something like that you know what i'm saying like me personally like i'm not spending a lot of time playing video games i'm not spending a lot of time drawing you know what i'm saying like i just i have to fit them in you know when it makes sense or when i can you know what i'm saying like i, I try my best to do those things but when i do you know kind of power down a little bit and it's like okay you know what i got what all I, everything i needed to do done for this week or for today or my today's kind of free let me turn on the PlayStation, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I got I got a PS2. I don't even have a PS4 no more. I got a PS2 cuz in my opinion, 
that's the best game system that's ever been created. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like PS2 got all the classic games, but when I'm um, like when I turn that thing on and it's like okay, I'm gonna sit here for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that, and just have some fucking fun, bro, and and kind of like not be an adult <laughs> for like an hour, hour and a half or something like that. But it's it's not like like it's in a it's in a smart way. It's not like oh I'm about to just you know play video games all day. Like nah, I'm I don't I don't really do that anymore. But when I do have that hour and a half, sometimes two hours, play some video games, man. It really helps recharge the batteries for me too. That's something that I've been realizing as well. So try to figure out what those things are. Like sit down for a second, just be like, man, what did I really get lost in when I was a kid? And just see if you still have that feeling now when you do those things, man. Maybe you do, or maybe you will, maybe you won't, you know, but hopefully you do. <laughs> because I, I I can think of two things really quickly off the top of my head that bring me back to my inner child. And I'm grateful for those two things, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much all I got for the video, man. Y'all take it easy. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.